Okay. On the topic called all in texture theory. Okay. So what's all in texture theory? In 1919, this was formulated by of course by all in in 1933, no? So you could just imagine Export here, export again the word export goods that is intensively used factor in domains which are locally abundant. So, ano daw yung locally abundant? Like, like Dabao is their locally abundant is banana, so they are exporting bananas. And while Jensen and Cotabato they are producing a lot abundant of uh, pineapple. So, they are exporting pineapple to the United States of America. So, the patterns of trade are determined by differences in factor in domains, not productivity. So, under all in hexture theory, it goes with what is abundant resources in one country. That's factor in domains. What are those resources that is locally abundant in that place here's the word look locally abundant no okay so remember the focus on relative advantage not absolute advantage so this is the focus of this theory so the the hexture all-in model is an economic theory that proposes that countries export what they can most efficiently and plentifully produce. So, ano yung marami? Tula dito po sa Buanga, maraming isda. So, therefore, we are into canning factories and we export our products abroad. No? We export our fish. We export our fish to the United States. Kung nasa States po kayo, Yung isda nila, wala nang ulo, wala na yung mga scale, wala na yung buto, yung meat na lang talaga. So, pinoprocess po yan dyan sa may YL fishing, may blast fishing po sila dyan. Eh, ang isda po, umabot ng mga 2 to 3 months, nasa refrigerator lang yan. Tapos, ready for export papuntang United States of America. Nagtataka yung mga kano, nung magsinigang kami sa California, sabi niya, why are you cooking including the head and the, <laughs> the tail of the fish? Sabi ko, hey Joe, you try this. It smells good. No? Hirap na, no? Kasi sa kanila, ang ulo at saka buntot, hindi yan niluluto. O, tayo lang mahilig ng ganyan. So, while proportionately importing those resources they need. So, ano yung wala sa country under all insects territory? So, yun yung ini-import. No? Okay? Now, presumably, the Philippine Islands is doing this. We are applying this texture all-in model. Okay. So, another definition here. It states that a country which is capital abundant will export the capital intensive goods. Likewise, the country which is labor abundant, tulad po natin, we are labor abundant. Ang dami po nating overseas contract workers, overseas foreign workers, OFW. So we export that labor intensive good. We export that to other country. No? Okay, so there are over 2 million OFW who went home to lost jobs. Mali yung strategic action ng Philippines. Uh, we followed World Health, Health Organizations about pandemic. And the longest, no, the longest quarantine is that of Philippines for 7, now going to 8 months. You could just imagine that. Whereas other countries in one to two months, three months, even though they're still COVID, they have to open their economy. Now, what's the image of Philippines right now? We are doing bad against other countries. Kaya affected yung ating mga laborers. What happened? 
no? Balik kayo sa Pilipinas, mga COVID pala kayo, parang ganyan ba? No? That's the implications, that's the impact over our country, no? Since we are the top 5, no, country uh having covid. Okay, each country exports that goods which it produces relatively bit better than the other country. In this model, a country's advantage in production arises solely from its relative factor abundance. So, ano yung abundant natin dito? Naalala ko tuloy si Boy Abunda. No, abundance Thank you very much, sabi pa ni Boy Abunda. Okay. Si Boy ngayon nasa Batangas, nandoon sa kanyang farm. Nagmumuni-muni sa mga chapel niya doon. Okay. The Leonti Paradox in 1953. Disputes, no? they argue with all in Hoekscher. This Leonti Paradox. So, factor in domains can be impacted by government policy on minimum wage. Meaning to say, pwedeng makontrol ng gobyerno yung lahat ng factor in domains ng country. Okay. US tends to export labor-intensive products but it's regarded as capital-intensive country. Now, with the word globalization, I would like to include that sana if we still have time, no? That US... They have a lot of global companies around the globe, including McDonald's in Sambuanga. You may notice that. And Ford Company is here also, the Ford Cars. Now, they are more into export labor-intensive products, but it's regarded as capital incentive because they are more into cash inflow. Okay. So, what's uh, let us look at Hexger versus Ricardo. Economists prepare hex chair on theoretical grounds but it is relatively poor predictor of trade patterns accordingly. Ricardo's comparative advantage theory regarded as too limited for predicting trade patterns. Actually, trade predicts them with greater accuracy under comparative advantage theory. In the end, differences in productivity may be the key to determining trade patterns. So, it all depends upon productivity. It all depends upon the production of cars in the U.S., production of cars in Japan, production of our agricultural products in the Philippines, and also humans. No, humans. Since uh, there are many Filipinos uh, in China, there is one what we call one child policy and that child should be male in urban cities. Uh, in rural cities, in rural areas, they could have a female child. But the, their government is very strict with one child policy. So here in the Philippines, we do not know if it is one child, two child, or more of the child. No, Okay. So the Hexter Olin Chori, it says here, a nation will export the commodity whose production requires intensive use of the nation's relatively abundant and cheap factor and import the commodity whose production requires the intensive use of the nation's relatively scarce and expensive product. So again, the word abundant. So ano yung abundant natin? Yun yung dapat na pagtuunan natin pansin para makapag-export. Or the relatively labor-rich nation export, relatively labor-intensive commodity and imports the relatively capital-intensive commodity. So ano yung mga wala, yun yung import This means that the nation export, no that is one times because times is the L, no, labor-intensive commodity, and labor is relatively abundant and cheap factor in the nation. So, Philippines is, is here, no? So, we have a lot of laborers. So, the theory believes that different countries are endowed 
which bar- varying proportions of different factors of production. Some countries have large population and large labor resource. Uh, Philippines is is like that. China is also have they have large labor resources, and capital bound country presents a higher capital ratio than a labor abundant country presents. No, okay. Thus, a country with large labor force will be able to produce go- goods at lower cost. Why is it? A lot of American companies are in China because of low labor cost, no? Labor intensive mode production. So maraming manggagawa, cheap laborers, kaya they place their companies there. But lately, they realize that China is getting rich than them, no? Jack Ma says, uh, 20 years from now, the most powerful country is no longer US but China. Okay. Similarly, the countries with large supply of capital will specialize in those goods that involve capital intensive mode of production. Okay, so this is our example for all in hex chair model a free trade equilibrium. So the output of this country they are more into shoes. No? Tulad po natin sa Marikina, ang daming sapatos po. So, ito po ang i-export ng home country. And then, mag import po tayo ng computers. Where do we import our computers? Most likely, maraming mga computers ngayon made in China. Kahit Apple pa ang MacBook ang meron, but still made in China. No? So... You look at this graph here, it's very easy. What Again, look at the all-in story. I had a lot of definitions. Look at what is abundant. And that is what you are going to export and to import those who are what is not abundant to us. During the time of Fidel Ramos, we are actually producing a lot of computer chips. I do not know now kung ano yung pinagagawa natin kasi we are turning into BPO, yung mga outsourcing, no? call center. Uh, we have a lot of call center companies in the Philippines. So that is what we do. So we left on producing computer chips. Okay. So in conclusion, all in strength focus on what available resources a country ad- that is that is what advantage so focus on resources that is abundant focus meron pa akong kasabihan dito sinasabi ko focus on your strength not on your weakness no kung ano yung mga weaknesses natin let us not focus on that but we are to focus on our strength no okay